Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Omar here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a background image. Um, so basically change the background of your app either to an image or to a colour. Um, so to do this, you will need uh, an image. Uh, and I've just got a splash screen of mine uh, that I have. Uh, there you go. Um, so yeah, and I've had a couple of requests for this tutorial. So uh, those two guys will appear here and here. And links to their channel will go there as well. Um, so make sure you have an image here. I put the dimensions of the iScreen, iScreen, iPhone screen's uh, background in the description. But I think it's uh, 320 by 480 for normal screens, and I think it's I don't know 680 by 960 or something. Yeah, for the Retina the screens, but I don't know them off by heart, so I'll put them in the description. Uh, so we'll just go ahead create a new project here, uh, and view base will be fine. Doesn't matter what your company identifier is unless it's a real app. Um, I'm just going to call it Backgrounds. I spelt it wrong, but oh well. Next, save it to desktop will be fine. And uh, whilst it's loading, first thing we'll do is we'll drag our background into the project. I'm not going to copy it because I don't need to, so yep. And I'm going to leave it like that and uh, make the screen bigger. Now, yeah, my computer's going really laggy again, don't know why, need to get that fixed. Um, but yeah, so first off, I'm going to teach you how to make the background image without any code whatsoever. Now, this can be good for quick purposes or, you know, you just don't know how to or whatever. Um, but I don't personally like it a lot just because you can get a lot of problems with it. But I'm just going to go into the background con con view controller.nib. I'm going to open up our little window over here and I'm gonna make this a bit bigger here. So if I just want to change the color of this background all I need to do is just select it, go over here to this little tab here and go down to where it says background and all I need to do is select that you can see this colors tablet over here appears and uh, I can just select any color I want so as you can see the background's changing and I can select any color I want or I can have more specific colors by clicking on this uh, crayons tab over here and I can select a specific color so uh, that's a bit bright, so is that, so is that. I might have just a, a nice lime green colour. So there you go, is my light lime green background. And that's all I need to do just to change the background. Um, so you know, that's really quick and uh, no code needed whatsoever. Uh, however, if I want an image for a background, like a detailed image, it's that's as easy as to do. Easy as to do. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, so just grab an image view, drag it on. It should auto size to the actual screen. Drop it in like that, go over here to the attributes here, select your image, and ta-da, you now have your background set as an image. Now, uh, problems I've found with this is that you, if you have other images or other items on the screen, so I have another image view here, and then I have, you know, that, this segmented to control here, so it will appear fine in Interface Builder. But what will happen is sometimes this background image can actually go in front of them. So uh, to fix that, if you select your image here and you go to Editor, Arrangement, and it should say Center Front, Back, Send Forward, Send Backward. Now, this means, because the Send Backwards and Send To Back are faded out, that means this image is already at the back, so it's fixed. I don't need to do anything. But let's say uh, this one here, if I wanted this image view here to go to the back, you can see now the options have appeared because it's not at the back. So uh, if you select this and um, if you're having trouble when you build it and it's uh, everything's going behind it, just go to here, editor, alignment, I mean arrangement, and then click send to back or send backward. Now because it's already at the back, these options are faded out, which is a good sign because it means it's at the back. Um, so there you go guys, just a quick way of how to set a background image and change its colour. Now that's how you do it via Interface Builder, which I think is good, but it takes a little time and it's not as accurate and you have to fiddle around with it by doing this editor thing and that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to teach you how to do it via code. Uh, so if I just delete all this so you can actually see it actually works when we build it, and I'll set this back to white here. Um, so if we just save that for now, and we go into the background view controller.m. Um, now, before I do anything, I just want to say to Starsky, who's been asking me a lot of questions about the super view, uh, I mean the view did load, uh, and he can't find it, 
The super view did load is right here, right in the center of the code here. And all you need to do is delete this slash asterisk at the top and asterisk slash at the bottom. And now you have your view did load. So uh, there's a little thing just for Starsky there. Um, so yeah, anyway, we need to go into our view did load. And what we're going to do, we're going to call our background using self and then go to the view. And then we're just going to use the UI color tool to change it. Um, so I'll just type that out and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, welcome back. And uh, this bit here is just how you can change your background color just to a solid color. The, as you can see, it's just orange color and that will change it just to an orange color. Um, now, this is not as accurate as Interface Builder where you can choose literally any color you want. But, you know, it's quite easy via code and you can put code in to let the user select their own background color if you wanted. Um, so that's basically how you change the background color just via code. And uh, if we just build and run here, change it to the, oops, change it into the simulator, and uh, I'll build it, and I'll be back when it's uh, finished building. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, we now have a an iPhone application with a nice orange background. Now, um, obviously, you can just change this if we just delete that, and then you press Escape. You can now see that there's uh, all these colors we can choose from here. So there's orange, purple, red. We've got magenta up here. We've got light gray. You know, there's there's loads of colors we can choose from. So if I just start typing like cyan, for instance, you can see cyan color pops up, and now we can have a cyan background. Um, so what I'm going to teach you now is how to change the background with a, a, an actual image. So the image we have here. So I'm going to teach you how to do that now. And uh, you still use the view dot background color, and you still use the UI color like option path, but uh, you now do it with a pattern image, and then you use the UI image class. Um, so I'm just going to type that out, and again, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, I've just extended this here, and uh, we now have two brackets at the end, so don't get that second bracket. But what we're doing now, we're using the UI color still and with the background color and all this is still the same. But now we're adding this on the end. Now this means UI color and then we're selecting a color with the pattern of an image. So that's basically saying, I don't want a color, I want an image. And then we specify this image by using the UI image class. Um, and then we do image named and then make sure you put the file name. And make sure you get it absolutely correct, including the PNG or GIF or JPEG, whatever you have on the end of it. So it's exactly the same as what you've got up here. Um, so again, this all this code will be in the description, so you can just copy it and modify it. But I still want you to learn from it as well. Um, so that's how you change the background image. And again, I will build and run, and I'll be back once the application's built. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, we have our image here, and it's loaded, and it's the background, and nothing will ever be behind that, so you don't have all those problems you have in Interface Builder of having to edit it and make sure it's in the background, and it uses less memory up as well, and less time of dragging the images out and stuff like that. Um, so, obviously, this is a landscape PNG, this is a landscape image, so the it will only show like that, and obviously, you have to create images to make sure they don't show landscape like that. Um, so yeah, just press command arrow key there to change the orientation. But yeah, there you go, just a quick tutorial guys on how to uh, change the background of an iPhone application. Uh, so there's the two ways of doing that, either by code or by interface builder. So uh, yeah, there you go, just a quick tutorial there. So if you have any questions on this, don't forget to post them in the description. And don't forget to rate and subscribe, and see you in my next tutorial.